The festival season mood in Mzansi is in the air. This time around, it's kicking off with a concert promoting the spirit of reconciliation. The first ever inaugural reconciliation festival is set to rock Carnival City's festival lawns um, at the weekend. Uh, featuring a stellar lineup of local artists, the event seems bound to provide everyone with something to celebrate. The list of performers include the likes of Mikasa, multiple award winner Zonke, Lira and Amanda Black. Well, joining us in studio is the artist Amanda Black and her event organizer. A very good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us. Hi. Just, just starting off with you, um, Richard, um, can you just let us know what inspired you to come up with this festival? Um, it's a way of uniting the masses and then this is uh, the first of its kind in which we're going to take it forward next year. We're starting by uniting ourselves as blacks and then next year then we will unite both blacks and whites. So we're taking the country to be one. And why did you call it the Reconciliation Festival? Reconciliation is more of reconciling. We've got differences as blacks and white. We've got differences as black among ourselves. So we're using this opportunity to reconcile each other. We're taking this, we're starting this in Ekuruleni. Yes. As we know that Ekuruleni means the place of peace. That's where actually the negotiation for the democracy happened. So we, it's, it's a good place to start this uh, concept. And um, what can music lovers expect from the festival? Yeah, we've got like... Uh, uh, Ever like now, mm -hmm. singing sensation Amanda, she's on top of her game now. Yes. We've got the multi platinum winner Zahara, Zonke, and Lira. So there's nothing more to be that one to start this concert. And also Mikasa, the forever hot. Hmm. Well, coming to you, Mr. Bla Amanda Black, who's on top of her game, just tell us about um, what inspired you to come up with your album that, that you'll be launching. Um, what inspired me? Um, the album is, 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 is a journey songs, you know, um, a lot of stories that I'm telling about myself, mm -hmm. about my life, my experiences. And uh, I mean, I'm a musician. I've always wanted, you know, to make an album, drop an album, yes. get my music out there, mm. you know, just inspire people to be whoever they want to be and you you will read that into my music so yeah dropping my album this year was a very great achievement for me mm -hmm. um, and Amazulu the single that was dropped in July yes. um, that kind of like paved the way for the album you know it made people you know believe in me and I'm so grateful for that well congratulations on your single and your album just speaking about Amazulu which has become a hit um, what just tell us a bit more about what the song is about the song is about my relationship, put it in a nutshell, mm -hmm. it's, it's about my relationship with music, my journey with music, where I've been with music, you know, where I come from, where I'm going with music. Mm -hmm. You know, it talks about darkness in the beginning, which is everybody can relate to it, you know, we all go through struggles in life, whatever it may be, circumstances, mm -hmm. and it just tells you, you know, going through the darkness, losing yourself. Like, I'm, I'm 23, I've obviously been through, you know, getting to know who I am, going through stuff, falling down, you know, trying to figure out who I am in this world. And then it takes you through that, and then the song talks about the heavens opening, you know? And that's like the, okay, the, the big, the important part of the song is that actually, through all of that darkness, you know, the, the heavens will open, the light will shine on the darkness, and that's where it takes me, that's Quite inspiring. Well, back to you, Richard. Um, how will this concert be different to other local festivals we've had in, in Mzansi? Um, by uh, doing a concert like this, last year we did something a little bit similar to this. It was more of house and hip hop. But now we say, we came back and said, wait a minute, I think we were closing doors for the uh, matured market. We said, okay, fine, it's better this year to bring Afro Soul into the mix, in the mix. So the difference is the concert is, cat is catering the entire family. Mm -hmm. You can bring your kids as well. We'll have kids' playground available. And then it's a picnic kind of setup. Will where it be you ticketed? Yes, it is ticketed. Okay. It's a picnic kind of setup where you can bring your camp chairs, your umbrellas, food will be sold and refreshment will be sold at the venue. Tickets are available at Compi Tickets from 200 rand, which is general, and then 150 for kids, and then we've got 350, which are golden circle. VIP are 800. All tickets are going very, very fast and they're available at Compi Tickets. <laughs> I can tickets. imagine. <laughs> yes. And then just to say that the, the artists that I just mentioned so were the headliners. We also have um, we also have Java, we have Raps Bafu, we have Smanga, we have Nzika Rise, in which most of those are also local artists trying to promote the community as well, economic development around the area of Ekuruleni. Well, just finally, um, Amanda, what other projects are you working on? Currently, what can we expect um, from you? 
Well, right now I'm just pre busy pushing my album, but I am in studio, you know. The music never stops being generated, you know, you, you inspired. I mean, this whole journey, um, the come up, you know, my come up, my introduction to South Africa as Amanda Black, that is a story that I'm putting into music. So um, stories we experience more, I'm making music. So 2017, you can expect more music and the album, the album, the album, the album. <laughs> Amazulu, Amazulu. Amazulu. And more live like performances. And more, yes. Especially live performances. I'm we'll so get to excited see more on for stage. that. Mm. You'll get to see more of me on stage. All right. Um, um, and just um, the album as well, where can people get a hold of it? Is it available in all stores? Is it like only in online no, availability? It's on, it's, in, it's on iTunes and okay. also in music stores. It's actually selling out. I'm so like I'm so grateful to the people that are supporting. Had you expected such a, such a response when you actually were in studio recording Amazulu? You know, did you ever think that you know you get the kind of response you've gotten from South Africans? I was very hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've always dreamed of this. I mean, nothing has ever discouraged me to stop doing music. Mm -hmm. um, so I was very hopeful. You know, I was putting the music down and I was like I hope people will relate to this because yes, I yes. hope they'll be inspired by mm -hmm. this so man people are responding so well they're responding so well they're buying the album thank you so much guys you know they're buying the album they're supporting I see on social media yes. I hear from people because that's not the only place where I'm hearing from people people are talking you know and they're buying the album it's incredible like I was in, I was in music the other day yes. in, at Musica and then the some lady they saw me there and they were actually buying my album wow. that was a moment that <laughs> a album, moment and a half I actually seeing imagined. somebody buying your album and you're like it's incredible mm -hmm. I, I'm living my dream I'm actually happy for you. And it's, you. It's good to see somebody actually realizing their dreams at such a young age for that matter. Richard, you want to say something there? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I just want to say, like, uh, people, they need to go out there and buy albums and support yes. all these local local artists. Mm. I mean, uh, mm. the days of uh, uh, embracing and supporting international artists should be gone, and then we need to start here at home and support our home. own local artists. It's so sad to see them starving while we're buying CDs for the international artists. Mm. We need to start supporting them. And then we're doing the same at Tico events. Like, we're booking local artists. We've been yes. doing this for four years, booking only local artists. And then we urge to the public out there, we need to support local talents. I think also um, reducing piracy or scrapping it yes, completely. Exactly, Actually going yeah. out and spending money buying the album because, I mean, a lot went into um, putting together a single There's or an so, album. So don't yes, just pirate these, yes. these, these albums. Don't pirate the singles. Actually go and buy them. I mean, it's easier these days with the iTunes as yes. well. So you don't have an excuse not to buy and pirate. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to put you on the spot here, Amanda. We'd like just a line, Yana. One minute, <laughs> of your song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I'm just going to do the line from the single itself. Anyway. Amazon. Mm -hmm. Vuleka, 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 masulu, vuleka, masulu, vuleka, masulu, oh, vuleka, 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 masulu. Vuleka masulu, vuleka masulu. Wow, thank you so much. Mzansi, you heard it for yourself. The Reconciliation Festival is where you need to be. That was Amanda Black and Richard um, Ramuzuli, the, the organizer of this um, uh, Recreation Festival, which is actually launching for the first time in Mzansi. So make sure you get your tickets at CompuTicket. Well, that's it from Morning Prime and the crew. Thank you so much for watching. I'm joined by Peter Fanonselin after the short break as we take you through ground reports. So stay tuned.